Hi guys, my name is Sarah Titus from saratitus.com and one of the biggest questions I get um, from a lot of readers is how to start a new blog and you know when I first started blogging I didn't have anyone to hold my hand or walk me through anything and I was completely lost. Uh, it took me six months just to figure out the difference between a post and a page and I, I had no help and I was completely lost and so today I'm really excited to show you um, you know the very first step when you're first signing on when you want to start a blog how to do that how to set up your WordPress site so that you can get on there and start um, going so um, let's begin so the first thing you'll want to do is go to saratitus.com slash bluehost Once you're on Bluehost.com, you're going to click the green Get Started Now button. And now you have different packages, a starter, a plus, and a business pro. Um, my favorite is the starter just because the longer that you um, buy the website for, the cheaper price you get per month. So you actually save the most amount of money by going with the starter package. Um, and that one is $3.95 per month. And the Plus is also the most popular. Um, that's $6.95 per month. And then the Business Pro is, you know, if you have a lot of posts, and that's, that's more for someone that's not just starting out. Um, here's where you'll sign up now. There's a new domain, and I have a domain name. So depending on what you have is what you're going to do. If you already have a domain name, you're going to put it in here. Um, if you don't and you want to register a domain name at the same time that you set up the URL and the website, you're going to click it um, in here under New Domain. So let's say I want to make a website about my favorite recipes. I can type in Sarah's Favorite Recipes and see if it's available. I click Next and it says sign up congratulations the domain you have requested Sarah's favorite recipes dot com is available so that's perfect it's available and um, then you can just walk through the steps of putting in your name and stuff like that now this is where you will put in your package information um, one of the great things is the starter 36 month price for 395 so I have that selected the other things on the screen are the constant contact domain privacy protection site backup pro um, and all of those things. The only option that I pick is domain privacy protection. I'm not going to pick it here on this tutorial, but this is something that you want to choose. Um, it'll help you not get spammed. There are certain people that, you know, as soon as you sign up for a website, they will just be all over you and spam you with a lot of different email. And that's the way to prevent that from happening. But for this tutorial, I'm going to uncheck all these boxes because none of the rest are, um, you know, you don't need them. And now it's time to come in and um, enter in your billing information. So you're going to want to enter in your credit card number, expiration date, and then click I confirm that I have read and agree to the terms and service. So make sure and read all of those and then click the green button. And then after that, you're going to get a lot of um, different upgrades to suit your needs. Um, you, don't, you don't need any of those, so just click Complete, and that'll take you to your WordPress dashboard um, site, your hosting site. And now you're, the first thing you're going to want to do is install WordPress. So go to Website and Install WordPress. and it's going to take you to this next screen. You see that green install button? You're going to want to click that and then check domain and it's checking the domain usually takes a couple minutes and then after that click I have read the terms and conditions and then install now Let's get out of there. Okay, now at the very top of the screen, it says your install is underway. 
You see the green bar? It'll kind of tell you how far along you are in the download. And your install is complete, so click View Credentials. And your install is complete. Could take a few minutes to click over. There we go. Okay, so this is your WordPress dashboard. This is where you're going to complete pose. You're going to set up different things, whatever you want to do, your design elements, um, you know, your post. This is what you're going to be looking at every day that you log in for your WordPress site. So let's do a post. Go to post and add new. And where it says enter title here, that's where you're going to enter in your title. Down here is the body. And then when you're done, you can either schedule it or you can click publish. And it's the publish is the blue button at the bottom. I hope this tutorial has really helped you. Um, you know, I'm a visual learner, and so I hope that it's helped you, if you're a visual learner, to be able to know exactly what to do and how to set up your blog. Um, thanks for watching, and have a great day.